what prompted this research? Yeah. So in 2021, Maricopa County experienced the largest domestic focal outbreak of this disease in the United States. Um, it was the largest locally transmitted outbreak of West Nile the country had ever seen. They had over 1,500 cases, about 1,000 of which were positive, followed up by 101 deaths from West Nile. How does this virus uh, survive and reproduce in the wild? And what does that have to do with us catching birds? Yeah, so we're catching birds because birds are the, um, what we call hosts of West Nile virus. So they naturally carry the virus in their bodies in the environment. And the mosquitoes will come, bite the birds, pick the virus up from the birds when they take that blood meal, and then they can continue transmitting it. So mosquitoes are the only thing that transmits West Nile, but birds are the main animals that actually host it in their system. And different species of birds are affected by the virus differently. Some birds like crows and ravens get extremely sick and have almost 100% mortality rate with West Nile. Um, and then there are some birds like northern cardinals that can get bitten and contract the virus if they don't already have it and they're totally fine. Their systems can basically eliminate it. So birds are what's carrying West Nile in the environment, mosquitoes are transmitting it, and we wanna get a picture of that bird system. So aside from the mosquitoes just transmitting it, can we figure out how much West Nile virus there is in the bird communities? And so what is the end goal of this research? How does this research seek to affect public health? So the end goal of this project is to take our bird data um, when we catch the birds and we test them for West Nile virus, we want to do the same thing with mosquitoes and then look at human data. And we want to basically put all of that data into a big map and figure out how that map is going to change as the climate changes in the future. So what we're looking for is as the climate changes, habitats of where certain bird species live are going to change. Habitats of where mosquitoes live are likely going to change. As those habitats shift in space and in time due to climate change and its impact on the environment, are we going to see West Nile virus pop up in new bird communities? Are we gonna see it pop up in new mosquito communities? And for the public health side, are we gonna see it pop up in new human communities? So our problem, it looks at the intersection of bird, wild bird conservation and human public health. And then I've got my little mosquito on my finger. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>